Hi friends, I want to show you how I collect the seeds from fresh tomatoes, save them and use them in the future. This is very easy and works very well especially for tomatoes. I never purchased the same tomato seeds twice and I don't think I will ever have to do that in the future. I normally purchase the seeds for a brand new variety that I want to try for the first time. After that, I collect the seeds and use them. I saw many videos and read many articles about this process. All of them talks about fermentation which is a lengthy process and it is little tedious. As I read more about this process, I found that the fermentation helps cleaning the seeds thoroughly, increasing the germination rate etc. But every benefit I read about fermentation can be achieved without fermentation as well then why should I go through the tedious fermentation process? So here is what I do. First, pick a well ripened tomato. I normally go with a tomato that looks dark red all over it. If I am collecting the seeds from an orange or yellow tomato, I follow the same and pick a dark yellow and dark orange tomato respectively. Then cut and open the tomato and Extract the seeds onto a paper towel. Then spread them and separate the seeds from each other. Now keep the paper towel aside until the seeds are completely dry. I usually keep it on top of the aerogarden light panel. Aerogarden light panel is always warm and it accelerates the drying process. Alright, it's been a week and the seeds are completely dry. You can keep drying them as long as you want, but one week is well enough in my experience. Now remove the seeds from the paper towel and store them however you want. It's that simple. Now I am repeating the same process for yellow microdwarf tomatoes. Since it is yellow variety, I picked a dark yellow tomato. It still has some green spots, but that's okay. This is the best tomato I could find. Now I am collecting the seeds from the paper towel to store them. These are the red robin tomato seeds I recently extracted. They are drying up here. I will be collecting these seeds and store them in a day or two. I wrote the variety name on the paper towel so there won't be any confusion. Now storing the seeds. There are many ways we can store the seeds. The easiest way I found is the small Ziploc bags. These are the 2 by 3 size Ziploc bags. Another way which is little fancy is the small and cute little bottles I found at dollar store. These bottles come with metal caps. I label them using a permanent marker on the cap. Then dump the seeds into the bottle. Little hands are helping to dump the seeds into a little bottle. That's it. Now I have a bunch of seeds good for a couple of years. Perhaps my lifetime. Here is the collection of all the seeds I extracted so far. I published a full video in the past about growing Aerogarden's red heirloom cherry tomatoes from the seeds I extracted myself. Please find the link in the description below. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.